I'm not a morning person. Dedicated to being passionate about it. Bodybuilders have become more lazy. People have always thought I lift fake weights. Iran and the United States. You take, you take responsibility for that. Last question I want to ask you. Um, what's the right approach to deal with haters online? Uh, is it just to block them, to uh, respond? How, how, how would you do it? How, what kind of advice would you give how to deal with them? I, there's two, two aspects to this. Um, or three. I do agree with the echo. The common sense is that nobody above you trolls you. And so, yeah, you know, that, that's who you want to talk to. Um, so for those kids out there that are getting trolled and stuff, don't worry about that. The, the people that are below you are trying to get followers and that's why they're poking at you or they just want to see you uh, react. Right. Don't worry about that. And then also remember if somebody's trolling you or, or hating on you, uh, for it to absolutely hurt you or make you want to respond, you have to respect the person. I don't know if that's different for other people. Somebody can say, hey, you're a tool. Great. You know, <laughs> two pictures. I, obviously, you live in your mom's basement. I don't care. Um, there's a lot of trolls that come after me, but they're, they're like complete losers that are trying to make themselves famous off of my name. And just keep that in mind. Keep in mind that there's just nobodies and stuff. So just keep in mind that that's what they are. So you keep working on who you are. And just block. Just block them. It's... It, Social media isn't a freedom of speech. You know what I mean? It's because people go, hey, are you going to block me? Sure. Blocked. It's like, <laughs> it's like, this is not a debate, guys. It's like, I, I like my social media. These are my, my, my friends and titans around the world. I'm not going to have a whole bunch of trolls in there. So I just block. I block for the my new things. Like, hey, what song is that? You're an idiot. It says it right above it. It's like you're blocked. <laughs> it's a, I'll tell you, you can't Google that. You're blocked. You know, so I, I block for minute things. And these guys are great. My team's great. They just block. So um, keep it clean. Keep your page as clean as possible, too. And I know a lot of people like the banter. I just block it and move on. And again, it goes back to having a kid. Focus on what you're focus on what you need to focus on. Don't get distracted by these these tools that are nobody that are trying to make their name off of you. That's smart. Good question. What do you do? Do you get haters? Yeah, I guess uh, the, the team blocks them, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, you know, you know, it's interesting. Uh, so we actually, like maybe a few years ago, we would never, we would allow any type of comment to go through like on YouTube or something like that. Right. And then um, somebody showed me some comments and they were just so vile. Uh, borderline like it was ba racist basically you know what i mean so we had, our board had to make a decision like if it's something that racist or something that crazy then you have to you have to block a person um but yeah but you know what the funniest thing is like sometimes you, you see a comment and it's like the most the most disgusting comment you ever see in your life then you go to that page and it's like a guy with a baby he says god first yeah. Oh <laughs> my gosh. What? The you just hit it out of the park. I, that's I, crazy. How, how can somebody like that make a comment like that? That's crazy. I, right? I, I get those kind of comments. I, I, I get the ugly ones. Hey, I hope your wife and your kid gets hit by a car. And you look at their page and you're yeah. like, God first, <laughs> from kindness. And it's like, holy shit. It, you know what else? It really does make you how the majority of society thinks. When you see these comments about the, the hater comments, because you just, wow, the way you guys think, I can't even comprehend how you got there. Right. It, it, it's, it's like a, if there's something about health and fitness and you want to argue with me, there's no argument because you're not arguing me. You're arguing me. You're arguing Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lou Ferrigno, Robbie Robinson, Frank Zane. You, you're arguing everybody that I've learned from right. on something. And I've been doing this for 40 years and I've been able to do something nobody else has been able to do. On stage in the early 80s, still on stage in 2021. On stage, not, not relevant, but on stage. So you're not going to really argue with me about health and fitness, what to do about cardio, how you eat and stuff. So mm. it's odd that you get these guys that are like skinny, fat guys going, hey, that's wrong. This isn't a debate, son. Sit down. We'll block you. But yeah, it's just block it.